Hey guys, so today we're going to work on a portfolio. Now, what is a portfolio? Let's see. Portfolio Art Wikipedia. They always have a good answer. <clears throat> so, Wikipedia says that a an artist's portfolio is an edited collection of an artist's best work intended to showcase their style or method of work. A portfolio is used by artists to show employers their versatility by showing different samples of current work. Typically, the work reflects an artist's best work or a depth in one specific area of work. Historically, portfolios were printed out and placed in a book. Um, with the increased use of the internet and email, however, there are now websites that host online portfolios that are available to a wider audience. Sometimes an artist's portfolio can be referred to as a lookbook. And then it goes on to talk more about it. Um, let's look at some cool examples. So, uh, cool art portfolios. Let's see, uh, I know this one. These are some cool ones. So here you can see a couple different artists' por portfolios. Um, Alicia Haberman. So she's got her, it's kind of like a website. Come into the website and then you can see um, her different kinds of work she's done before. All those. These are just different uh, different projects it looks like. So you click on them and then you can see all the kind of cool work she's done. Um, and then she has her other categories up here too. She's done illustration and film. And you can see about her, her bio. She talks about herself there. And um, that's just one example. Oh, ads. Got another guy, Paywin. You can see his work. He shows off what he does as a set designer, set and costume design for stage and film. So he's also in the art world, but doing. A little bit different stuff. Some drawings that he does for that. The designs for stages. Pretty cool. And he just shows pictures and they're listed one after the other after the other. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of the professionals are doing like website stuff now. And before we do website stuff, we're going to do uh, just a slideshow version. Uh, let me see if there's another one I wanted to show you all. There we go. Deborah Gregson. See, she's got kind of like a, her bio first and foremost, and then some pictures of examples that she does. And then you can click on here and see about her, her biography, talks about herself, exhibitions, so different places she's shown her work, commissions, people who bought her art, things like that. And then her portfolio itself over here, you can see paintings that she's done they're all grouped together it's really cool you can probably click on each one and see them closer up but that takes a lot of time that's a lot of uh, website building stuff and we're gonna start out really really simple for you guys um, what we're gonna start out by doing is just doing like uh, this so let's go to Google classroom and Let's see, I think I started making this over here. Haven't finished it yet. Yeah, Digital Portfolios. All right, so you're gonna have this one called Digital Portfolios Introduction, and we're just gonna be starting off with by making these uh, slideshows. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Google Slides. So in the assignment, there's gonna be a slide already made for you, and you're gonna click on it, and it's just gonna have the names of assignments that we've done already. Now these are for the third graders, but you guys can kind of get the gist. So when you find yours, you're going to go to the first slide. And on the first slide, type your name there. Type your grade level there. So it would be something like uh, type in Nolan Mueller. And your grade level, uh, let's just say like fifth grade. And then you can say more about yourself if you want to right now. I'm not going to make you do it yet, but 
uh, eventually you will, where you can kind of say a bio about yourself, kind of like what art you like to do and what you learn in art or just about how you are as an artist, blah, 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 blah. Um, but the other things you can do too is like you can change the background, change the color, or you can even choose an image. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, there's one of my paintings. I'll put that in there. So I can actually insert one of my own pictures as the background. Neato. But then I can't see my words, so I might have to move them. I can also change the font and change the colors. So just to show you all a little example of that, you can come here, change your colors and your font. Maybe make that white. And if I want to move it, I have to move the whole box. That part, definitely need to make it a different color so you can see it. Make it white too. This is me pretending I'm back in fifth grade, I guess. Alright, so you can start with that and then you go to your next slide. And that will be where you start inserting things. Now, I think these are the kindergarten through third grade assignments are a little bit different than you guys, fourth and fifth. Um, so what you're going to do is you'll just be doing the ones that are here. So what you what you do, hopefully you have everything saved. Um, let me see if I have any of these saved for you guys. Oh, yeah, Thanksgiving turkey. We did that one too. Okay. So like for Thanksgiving turkey, that slide, you would go to it, and then you would... Um, here you're going to insert a picture. So to insert a picture, there's a up at the toolbar you see File, Edit, View, Insert. You're going to click on Insert, Image, Upload from Computer, and then you should see in your downloads somewhere back here, somewhere back here I should have one of my turkeys. There we go. Find the turkey and put it in. And that's it. That's all you got to do. But what you can do, what you have to do and what you can do are two different things here. So what you can do is you can always get more creative with it, change the font, change the background, if you want to change a different color, let's just make it a different color. Make it brown, brownish, reddish, brownish to ma match the turkey. Oh, then I can't see my words. I'm gonna have to pick a different, different font so I can see everything. That one's cool. You gotta highlight everything too when you're trying to change the color. Bold. Make it visible. You can always move it to center it so I can click on all that and like come over here and align it to be centered. Alright, so that's that's it. Um, you just go through and do each slide. Make sure you put your picture on there. And then when you're done, you just uh, turn in and that's it. Um, there should be 10 pictures, but you can add more if you want to. And if you uh, if you started class just recently and you don't have 10 pictures yet, um, don't feel like you have to do 10. You can do as many as you have. Um, those of you guys I know who've been here long enough or have been virtual learning from the beginning of school should have at least 10. So uh, you got no excuse. Um, but other guys, if y'all are brand new, I get it. So that's going to be it for this portfolio. Um, it's going to be really simple. And we may try to make some more complicated ones later. All right. So looking forward to seeing your portfolio, guys.